and we can discuss the pros and cons of uh, you know when it comes to a house like yours with the wood windows that you have you guys have a lot of options. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making an assumption since we keep talking about storm windows that you guys want to keep the original equipment. Oh yeah, which, absolutely. Um, you know, is great. Uh, and frankly, you know, it's a it, it's a pretty short conversation as far as what your options are from there. But you know, what you've got there, the wood storm, is traditional. You can paint it to match the color of your sash, so you mm -hmm. take that color. You bring it out here. Now, I, there is no such thing as a perfect storm window. Mm -hmm. You know, indoor window, wood window. There is no a secondary window is a bit of a compromise. Uh, in your situation, what you're going to compromise when they're on is you're going to lose this OG lug right here, which you know is kind of a cool architectural feature. It doesn't do anything, mm -hmm. uh, but but it, but it's but it, it's a, a nice architectural feature that kind of defines a lot of one light over one light double hunts mm -hmm. and um, when the storm goes on it's going to be a you know a flat plane mm -hmm. of glass here mm -hmm. like there but that I think is a casement window or something or maybe that is a casement yeah yeah so you know double hungs are architecturally really beautiful mm -hmm. at least to me and most of my comrades and, and, and it has to do with balance you know the lower sash is recessed got this great sill that kind of comes back to that lower sash rail you've got the OG lug it's a it's a really great symmetrical overall look when you put the storm window on the outside mm -hmm. you get one plane of glass coming down so that whole depth of that lower sash goes away the depth of the you know of this color sitting back from your trim color mm -hmm. changes mm -hmm. right so all of a sudden just like there You've got this, you know, flat plane of two colors kind of butting into each other. Right, right. So I mean, you know, that's for one person that could be, you know, more horrible for one than another. Um, storm windows reduce sound transmission, so they make things quieter. Whether they're inside or outside, storm windows obviously cut down uh, on the heat loss. Yeah, so, we. Yeah, I mean, storm windows, the traditional wood storm now. So when it comes to the to the double hung storm window, you'd have what's great about your situation is you've got uh, a full five quarter, which is just the term used for a full a little over an inch thick flat casing. So the storm windows are, are an inch and an eighth thick, mm -hmm. so they'll fit perfectly. If you had three quarter inch casing like a lot of homes do, then we do what's called the back rabbit over this stop, mm -hmm. and the, and the result is the same, just with a little bit less effort the result is the storm window will flush with this surface. Mm -hmm. um, they're built, like if it's, a, if, it's, if it's this assembly here, mm -hmm. there'll be one, one light storm here. Mm -hmm. uh, something to consider, let's just say if I was not the person you were using doing this. You want to make sure that the bottom rail, mm -hmm. because on, on the lower windows you have a tall bottom rail, Mm -hmm. But on a transom sash like this, mm -hmm. you have a small bottom rail. So you want to make sure that that bottom rail is a small bottom rail on this window up here oh, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So that it doesn't jump up into the glass line. This would be a one light storm. Mm -hmm. This would be a one light storm. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, these would be two light storms. The check rail, which is where the upper and lower sash meet, there'd be a mm -hmm. horizontal rail on the storm to align with that. Mm -hmm. um, does that also make it a little more stable, like if you're taking it off and... No, I mean, yeah. not necessarily. If, 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 if that was a one light fixed mm -hmm. window, it would be a one light. Okay. You know, this is a pretty good sized piece of glass. Well, that's right? true, yeah. So, um, no, I mean, it's just to kind of align and look. And, and, and otherwise, if we did a one light storm here over this window, you'd look through the glass and see this rail. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't look quite as sharp as when you have a horizontal bar there lining up. Gotcha. Um, now, they're built, and you met, you kind of segued into it there. The traditional ones, are, are they're all removable. They all have, depending on the situation, mm -hmm. a double hung typically would have a couple of hooks on the top that they hook onto, they swing in, there's a hook and eye on the inside. Mm -hmm. But like that window over there, the fixed windows that don't open, they just have turn buttons. 
uh, metal turnbuttons that you, mm -hmm. that you would paint typically the same color as your trim like you have over there. Mm -hmm. um, and that's an option for you on, on these as well if you didn't want to have the hooks on top. Well, the hooks allow you to kind of kick it out if you want a yeah, little... So, yeah, so, so the, the traditional storm doesn't open. Mm -hmm. it, it's removable, and we've done lots of projects where we did a, a, a what would be called a two-light mm -hmm. wood storm and a two-light wood screen. Mm -hmm. Where you take the storm off and you put, put the, the screen, screen on. on. Mm -hmm. um, that can get expensive and, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of a headache taking things on and off. But um, a couple other ways to approach ventilating with the storm window, uh, you can do the two light storm that doesn't necessarily open, mm -hmm. but there's hardware. It mounts on the jam mm -hmm. at the lower area so that the window can kick out at the bottom, which is what you were just mentioning. When you have the hooks on top, that's what allows it to kick out at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You get two or three inches of airflow, so it's not a situation where you're going to get a, you know, a lot of ventilation, but definitely there's air coming through. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one way to approach ventilating when you have this kind of storm window. Um, and just kind of a, just to go back for a second, one of the benefits of having energy efficient windows mm -hmm. is um, if you had air conditioning, for instance, uh, it would help with your fuel bill year round because you'd be then you'd have to be cooling a lot less uh, just like you have to heat a lot less well we don't cool at all at this point <laughs> yeah well so you know and so that'll be a nice benefit of, of having a more energy efficient environment here mm -hmm. but the scenario where let's say you, you took off the storm window and put the screen on mm -hmm. well in the hot summer months you're not getting you're not gaining anything and, a, and again a better insulated window storm window or a new double pane window is going to help comfort wise all year long. So when you have the storm window on and you have that ventilating aspect to it, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You can ventilate at night when it's cool mm -hmm. throughout the middle of the night and in the morning and then just close them up. Now the other option you have with Marvin is a wood, wood storm frame, mm -hmm. same everything I've just discussed. But in that wood storm frame, they, they, they have an upper and lower glass and screen that's in a small aluminum channel, and the lower glass raises up and down, much like an aluminum storm window. Yet, rather than that being in, the, in an aluminum frame, it's in a wood frame. Mm -hmm. And it's called the combination storm window. So that's a pretty good way to go in that you can live there all year long, you can ventilate the full lower sash area of your double hung with a screen. Because mm -hmm. when the sash, when you go back to the other style, the storm that tips out, mm -hmm. you can ventilate with a snow screen. Right. So the combination storm gives you a little bit of the benefits of both worlds. Well, our current plan is to put the really traditional ones on the front. Yeah and do some of the combinations on the side where you can't really see it from the ground anyway you know Love that and plan. and so we can ventilate most of the rooms from the side yep. and then on the front we can yep. you know remove them when we want it to look pretty pretty yeah and you know what a lot of old portland houses are set up where there's a, a, a window like on the on the bedroom floor say if it's a second floor a lot of them are set up to where each one of the corners has a bedroom, mm -hmm. and there's a, a front elevation window, mm -hmm. and a side elevation yep, window. Yeah, that's what we you have. Can put your screens in the side elevation windows. Yep. that's a great way to go. Now, that's I'm a big what, fan of that. that's what we're doing. House. And uh, I, I like the approach a lot, and I think it's a really great move to do the combo storms on the sides, maybe the mm -hmm. back. Um, the combo storms, just for the record, uh, are about a hundred dollars, approximately more a window. Mm -hmm. So they're not, you know, inexpensive, but, big but, they totally ventilate really well. Whereas that tip-out storm window thing, yeah. you're going to get some ventilation. Maybe you consider it here since nothing else opens right here except for the door. And, of course, the door is great. Right. Um, we'll probably take them off in the summer. Well, yeah, here we can stand on the porch and take them off in the summer, and okay. it's not a problem. Yeah. And, and the same with the ones on the side, on the lower, uh, by, the, by our deck. Okay. We can just stand there and take them off. Okay. It's very easy. But we don't necessarily want to take, you know, 
as we get older, we may not want to always be running up and down the ladder with big storm windows. Well, and while you can take these off to ventilate, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, have you ever had storm windows on here? Did you like nope. take some storm windows off? Uh, well, uh, yes, they had aluminum storms on there. Okay. Did you notice any difference in the sound? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you did the wood, the wood storms mm -hmm. with the tip out option, you know, you, you'd only be doing that when you wanted to ventilate, and mm -hmm. you can still. Um, enjoy some of the sound mm -hmm. muffling yeah. that goes on. And, um, you know, it, once we get those, we can kind of decide yeah. whether, you know, which way we like to do it, whether we like taking them off. Well, or... and, and, and good point, because you can you can start with just a hook and eye, mm -hmm. and then you can add the adjusters anytime. Mm -hmm. you, you, there's no, you know, past the point of no return going on there. You can do it later, you can do it at the beginning, whatever. Okay, cool, great. So, um, do you measure from the inside or the outside? Um, well, a little. A little of right both. Here, I'll do it from the outside. Okay. Uh, I can measure from the inside as well. So, what I do today mm -hmm. is I get measurements that represent a size that gets me to the nearest inch. Okay. So I can quote. It's a firm quote. It won't move. Mm -hmm. But when you place an order, then whichever one is you that you're gonna actually order. I either come out and remeasure, or I send one of my guys out with a ladder mm -hmm. and get final measurements from the outside specifically. Because we, so what we do in wood storms, which is one of the nice things about working with wood, is we're, for the most part we'll take a pretty tight measurement. Mm -hmm. You know, old houses tend to settle a little bit, so we'll take a pretty tight measurement and we'll plane them to fit window by window on site, mm -hmm. and then you would paint them, mm -hmm. and then they go back up.